that. Peace and love. Peace and love. I'm really hoping my wife and I can get back on the same page. As you know, we had a little tense uh, incident that happened uh, in the car. So hopefully, uh, with some of the issues that we have right now, they can be sorted out during this therapy session. Now, did you all get a chance to do your homework exercise? Yes. Mm -hmm. You were asked to come up with three disruptions that the other would say you do. So why don't we start off with yours, Tommy? I'm rude. She doesn't like my direct tone. She doesn't like, but I don't say kind words. OK, let's hear your three, Latoya. Tommy would say that I don't cook enough. Your second one? I'm not as patient in the arguments as I used to be when we first started our relationship. Your third one? That I don't plan enough alone time. So let's rate these on a scale of 1 to 10. I talk in direct terms. How disruptive do you think that is to the relationship? An eight. An eight? Latoya? Fifteen. I don't plan enough for us. Quality time. How disruptive do you think that is? A four. <laughs> and for you, Tommy? A hundred plus. Think about the, this whole notion of not carving out enough time for both of you. And I want you to just talk to him about it. I do feel that because of our busy schedules and the fact that Gianna is still in the bed with us, that it's made it more difficult to have one-on-one -on -one time. I do feel that when you aren't kind and when you are aggressive in your words, it shuts me down, all of me down. OK, so let me push this one a little bit. Is it true that there are times that you are aggressive and unkind? Both of us, I wouldn't just not, not focus. Not both of us. Me, just, okay. We're just talking about you right now. I am annoyed. Right now, we're kind of getting down and personal. My wife is throwing stones that shouldn't be thrown right now. Now is an opportunity for you to respond. No, I don't want to respond to it. But it's an opportunity to talk. Uh -uh. Well, here's Tommy being Tommy. Once again, he shut down. I think that Suleiman and Mrs. Myra created a method of communication that would work for our marriage if we apply it. That's the only way this is going to work. Now, I have one last thing, and then we're going to close it out. We started a conversation the last time about another child. I think right now what needs to be the focus is the two of you. There are two daughters already in your life, and what they're needing is a team. And the team is not strong right now. That was great, useful information. Do you think you've taken me for granted? I don't feel that I take you for granted. Dr. Suleiman said that he didn't think it would be a good idea for us to even think about having a child right now. I felt him. As a matter of fact, that's what I've been feeling since the pregnancy scare and everything. But when somebody else sees it and they point it out, it, it hurts. It's tough. We need to go to the airport because I'm flying back to Dallas tonight. And when were you going to bring me in on this plan? You make me aware of stuff the day of all the time. My plan is go spend time with my other daughter. I don't know if you care about doing it or not, but... I don't care. You are a great mother when you and Madison interact. You make my relationship with Madison conditional, and that's not true. Uh, who said that? You just said when I, I have her. I didn't use the word conditional. I didn't use the word that I because make. I'm I didn't summarizing. use none of those. That's, a, that's a bad summarize. No, it's uh, not. Uh, that's a bad summary. I feel like the counseling session really pissed Tommy off, and now he's taking his frustrations out on me by picking a fight. And he can't continue to do that. Our conversation is more complicated than it has to be. Your conversation is very interesting.
exaggerated. It's not exaggerated, They're Tommy. These are my feelings. And for you not acknowledging now them, it acknowledge is very... It. Now I don't no, because you're like ready you to run. challenge. Because I, I did on a purpose because you run with stuff I'm so not running fast. Here. And you're then, running. You're going to the airport. If like, anybody's running, honey, you're running. Away. Your priority always has been Madison. So, uh, and I'm not, which is probably why I have feelings yeah, yeah. that I do, because I've been fighting for my husband, fighting for my place in your life, fighting for our relationship, yeah, fighting for our marriage. I've been fighting for my place. I'm fighting a damn thing. Whether that's running your mouth, makes it sound good. I'm concerned about our relationship. Um, if things keep happening like this, I just feel like if you're not careful, you can lose control of it. And that's not something I want for my marriage. I think you should not get out of the car. I'm gonna take my ass to Dallas on this damn airplane. That's what I'm about to do. So do you, like you've always been doing. I'm sorry, girl. My, me and Tommy just got into it. So. Oh, no. He just walked in the airport. He left again. <laughs> he keep running away, though. Girl, he been running away since we got married. He ran away when I was pregnant. He ran away. Child. That's not going to work, yo. Like, you cannot expect people if you run away every time we have a problem. I hope everything is OK, Google. All right. Thank you. OK. Hey y'all, it's your boy Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch the number two.